Welcome to creating an application from an EXE. In this lecture, we're going to create an application based upon an EXE. This one is going to be a little bit more complex and time consuming just because we can automatically pre fill a lot of that detection information that the MSI automatically filled in for us. We'll be using Chrome.exe. From the console, click Software Library. Then click Application Management. Then right click on Applications and click Create Application. From the Create Application Wizard, the General screen, click Manually Specify the Application Information, then click Next. From General Information, fill out the metadata. You can go ahead and stop the video while you fill out the name, publisher, and software version. Now click Next. Now for Application Catalog, click Edit, and let's choose a user category. I'll go ahead and choose Browser, then click OK. Now I can fill in some of the details. Let's browse out to the Chrome icon. Then click Open. Then click Next. Now let's create our deployment type. Click Add. And from the general screen, click the down arrow. And notice there's no EXE. So we need to choose a script installer. Then click Next. From general information, now type the deployment type name. Here we'll type Chrome 83.106 exe x32. Then click Next. From Content, Content Location, click Browse. Then go out to the Application Location. Then click Select Folder. Put in your server name. From Specify the Installation command, click Browse. Then Browse to the Install program. Double click the EXE. So the installation program is Chrome Setup.exe. So for the EXE, we'll need to find out what the silent command is. A silent install enables the app installation without the user being aware of the installation. There are a number of ways to get the command line for the install and uninstall commands. You could try the following. From the vendor. That means you could use Google search and type something like silent install and uninstall command for Google Chrome. Or you could try a blog such as this. I found the install switches from this website. Also, I found help with the uninstall switches from here. In this case, add the following switches. Chrome setup.exe forward slash silent forward slash install. Finding the uninstall command. Here's a chart to help you find the uninstall command. The uninstall command can be found in the registry in one of two places. If you're deploying a 32-bit app on a 64-bit operating system, you can look here for the uninstall command. If you have a 32-bit app on a 32-bit operating system, you can look here. If you have a 64-bit app on a 64-bit operating system, you can look here as well. 
Because the Chrome installer is a 32-bit installer on a 64-bit operating system, the uninstall command can be found in the WOW 6432 node. Now, let's open regedit. Right-click on the Start button. Now click Run and type regedit. And press Return and browse to high key underscore local underscore machine. Then software, then WOW 6432 node, then Microsoft, then Windows, then current version, Scroll down and click Uninstall. Then click Google Chrome. Double click the Uninstall string and copy and paste that string into Notepad. I'll go ahead and paste in the Uninstall string. Notice that I use the uninstall system level and the force uninstall switches from that blog that I showed you earlier. Then click Next. Now for the detection method. This is how Configuration Manager determines whether the application we are installing is already on the machine. If you recall with the MSI, it read the product code to determine if the application was already installed. But with an EXE, we have to manually find and input the version number. And we can find this information in the registry. Go ahead and click Add Clause. From Setting Type, choose Registry. On this server, I already have Google Chrome installed, so I can check the registry for this information. From Hive, click Browse. Let's browse out to the local machine, then Software, then the WOW 6432 node, then Microsoft, then Windows, then Current Version, Uninstall, then Google Chrome. Off to the right, we want to click on Display Version and we want the value data. It should be 83.0.4103.106 and click OK. And if the key put the WOW 6432 in there, we're going to want to remove that and we're going to want to check the box. This registry key is associated with a 32-bit application on a 64-bit operating system. That means if it's a 32-bit application on a 64-bit OS, Configuration Manager will automatically append that WOW 6432 node. If the application is a 32-bit on a 32-bit OS, Configuration Manager will look into the main hive for the key. For data type, select version. Then click this registry setting must satisfy the following rule to indicate the presence of this application. Then for operator, we want to select greater than or equal to. And for value, in this case it should be 83.0.4103 dot 106. This is the version that will get installed. Now click OK. Then click Next. For user experience, verify the following. Installation behavior, install for system. Log on requirement, whether or not the user is logged on. Installation program visibility is set to normal. The max allowed runtime is set to 15 minutes, and the estimated installation time is set to 2 minutes.
Now click Next. For requirements, we want this to install on a 32 or 64-bit operating system. We can leave this blank, or if you wanted to, you could set up a rule just to install to certain operating systems. But in this case, we'll just click Next. There'll be no dependencies. Then click Next. Click Next again. Then click Close. Click Next. Then Next again. Then click Close. Now right click on the application. Then click Properties. From the General tab, click Allow this application to be installed from a task sequence. Now run through all the tabs to verify that everything is set up correctly. Then click OK. Now, before I deploy this to a collection, normally I like to test my install and uninstall command lines. So from a test computer, open an admin level command prompt and paste the install command and press return. Open the Task Manager to verify that the Chrome install is running and wait until setup completes. If we check the desktop, we see that Chrome installed successfully. Now go back to the command prompt and paste the uninstall command. In a minute, the Chrome icon disappears from the desktop. Click the search icon and type run. Now type appwiz.cpl, then click OK, and we see that Chrome is no longer installed. Now let's create our collection. From Assets and Compliance, right-click on User Collections, then click Create User Collection. From Name, type Windows 10 Users. Then click Browse. Then click All Users. Then click OK. Then click Next. Then click Add Rule. Then click Direct Rule. Then click Next. Then for Value, add the percent variable. Then click Next. Then click one of the users. In this case, I'll click Administrator. Click Next, Next again, then click Close. Then click Next, click Next again. Then click Close. Now let's deploy the application to the Windows 10 Users collection. From the console, right-click on the application and choose Deploy. Then from Collection, click Browse. Then select Windows 10 Users. Then click OK. Then click Next. From Content, click Add and click Distribution Point. Then deploy to your distribution point. In this case, choose sasccm01.serveracademy.com. Then click OK, then click Next. From Deployment Settings, we'll take the defaults. You could require an approval for that application by enabling an administrator must approve a request 
for this application on the device. Then click Next. For scheduling, leave the defaults. Then click Next. For user experience, we want to select Display in Software Center and only show notification for computer restarts. Then click Next. We'll choose the defaults for Alerts, then click Next, click Next again. Then click Close. From the client computer, open the Software Center. And after a few minutes, you should see the application ready for install.